Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to format cell data in Microsoft Excel 2007. Specifically, what we're talking about is formatting the data itself, not the display of the data. Uh, in other words, we're not going to change the color or the alignment, but instead we're going to change the way that the data itself is presented. To give you an example of that, I have pulled up this spreadsheet here. That's a basic table of statistics from the NFL season and you see here that the data by default has very little if any formatting to it. Uh, for example, when I look at this column here, which is points per game, I see that a lot of teams uh, just by random nature ended up having a points per game total that was somewhere with a decimal point, 0 0.1, 25.7, 25.1, 23.7, etc. But every once in a while you find one piece of the data where someone had a whole number, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles, for example, they finished with exactly 21 points per game. Now, the problem is that when you import this data into Excel, as I've done here, it understands, of course, that all these have single decimal points, so it represents them as such. However, when it came to this value, it saw it as a simple whole number. So it represented it as a simple whole number. But oftentimes, if the rest of your data is expressed to the precision of a single decimal point, you might want all of your data to be consistently displayed in the same manner. So the way we, we would change the display of this data <clears throat> to match the rest of the, of the, uh, the data in the column is that we would right click in this cell. And when we do that, it will pull up this context menu and we're going to select format cells. This brings up the format cells window and you'll see that by default, the formatting on this cell is general. That's the default format that it always uses whenever you create new content, uh, new data from scratch, which basically means that there's no formatting to it whatsoever. But if I move this to number, then I can say, you see that it, by default, it will set it to two decimal places if I move it to number. But I can, I can tweak this down or up if I want more or fewer decimal places. So since the rest of the data in this column was displayed to a precision of one decimal place, I'll change it for this one as well. And I'll click OK. And now, even though it's a whole number, that, that whole number is listed as 21.0 instead of simply 21. Now, of course, if you have a lot of values in uh, a lot of rows in a column, uh, a lot of data in this column, you don't want to go down through every single cell and change the format on it cell by cell. But there are much faster ways to do this. So for example, here, I can click and select the entire column. And when I do that, I'm going to then right click on the column and I get the same context menu that comes up. Again, I'm going to select format cells. And when I do that now, whatever, I ch whatever changes I make to the format will apply to all data that's, that's submitted in that column. So I'll go back here to number again. I'll set it to be one decimal place and click OK. And now you see it'll do this consistently with every value that's in the column. And if I were to, even if I were to go down and add new values down here, all of these column, all these cells in this column will still have that same formatting because I applied the formatting to the entire column. In fact, you can apply formatting to an entire row, an entire column. You can pick multiple columns or multiple rows, or you can just grab cells like this and apply formatting to the entire bunch as a group. Uh, quickly as well, I want to show some of the other options that you have here for format cells. <clears throat> Aside from number, you, you'll see also here is a place to turn on or off your thousand separator, your comma. You can also choose a currency, which will by default put numbers, uh, excuse me, uh, treat things as uh, currency data uh, with currency symbols. If you choose a currency symbol, you can choose account, an accounting format. Again, you can have currency symbols, number of decimals. You can specifically format dates and times. This can be very important because something like a date, for example, has many different ways which it can be displayed. And you can see you can pick a very verbose format. You can pick a very concise format. There's a number of different formats here that you can choose from so that you can have your dates looking consistent across an entire column or row. Same thing goes for time percentages. I'm not going to explain all of these, but I will point out one other item here as well, and that's the text. Sometimes the text can be very important because 
you can have a value here that you're trying to put in. Maybe I would decide I want to have periods after every one of my numbers. So I can put 33 dot and then hit enter. And notice it tries to apply its own formatting to it. So when it does that, I, it can sometimes outthink you. And if you want to stop it from doing that, instead what you can do is you can come here and you can format this entire column. And you can say, no, this is just text. Treat everything as text. And what that means is that then it will, it will put the exact formatting in here as you enter it. So see, now it doesn't get rid of my points. It keeps them there because now it's treating it simply as text. You have some other shortcut options here as well, working off the main menu bar up here or the ribbon, if you will. We're on the Home tab, which is the default tab, opens up in Microsoft Excel. And you'll see here that there's this number section. You'll have the opportunity here to quickly do a lot of the same things that we did by right-clicking on the cells below. So if I select <clears throat> another column here, first of all, let's look at the decimals. Remember, we formatted the decimal places in this other column. Let's format the decimal places here as well. But rather than right-clicking on this and going through the Format Cells window, instead I'm going to use these two buttons. There's Increase Decimal and Decrease Decimal. So if we increase... Oh, you know what? It's not going to do that because my data here is not consistent. Because notice that I have some that's one decimal place, others that are zero decimal places. So first, if we right click here and format cells, set them all to number with one decimal place. Now they're all consistent. And now when I click this here, the increase decimal, they all increase or they can all decrease. Another thing that you can do is you can annotate something as being currency. So you can say here, make these all dollar values. You see it pops a dollar sign in front of everything. In fact, if there are other currencies you want to deal with, you can very quickly denote them to be pounds or yuan, etc. And it will add those symbols. Or you can say, no, <clears throat> those really should have been numbers. We're going to put them back to numbers. And because the total points column has no values that are uh, decimal places that are fractional, we're going to set these all to be zero decimal places. And now we're back to a proper looking set of values on our total points. You can also show some things as being percentages. So for example, fourth down, fourth down conversion percent. Well, the, we know right there that that's a percent. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click the percent style. And notice now it puts things uh, in a percent format, although you have to tweak it somewhat because it thinks that it wants to multiply all of that by 100. So that can be a little problematic to deal with sometimes uh, if, you, if you don't have the right values there. So we'll put that back to general. Uh, what it's looking for actually is something that's, uh, that's fractional. So that if you had this, if this was 0.71, it would then show that is 71%. But because this is 71, when I hit percent, it moves it to 71% Well, that concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using showmeacademy.com.